Hello everyone, Adivan here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into our build now. Uh, we'll leave a link to the completed build in the description as well as post it here for you to pause and look at. Alrighty, digging in. We're going to go ahead and uh, train up. We're out in the talent, so now bear with me, it'll all make sense here in a minute. We're going to take the hero. That gives us... Uh, stats in every category for our primary super stat again bear with me we're going to take intelligence and we're not going to look back uh, it affects cooldown length uh, energy usage and so on for secondary super stats we're going to take presence to heal our pets as well as constitution so the pet controller can stay alive a little bit have more hit points all right for our talents we're going to take all the duels first. So anything that gives you five points in both supersets, take those. Alrighty. Now we have three points left. Scroll down to the bottom. Jack of all trades. It gives you a bump in all of your stats. And now whatever's going to give you the most that'll be beneficial. So command training. And finally, we're going to take the our primary super stat of intelligence. All right, now we're able to jump into specializations. And you'll see why I did what I did here in a moment. For, for your first one, you're going to take enlightened. That says your non-super stats grant 10% more than the normal stated value. So you take all three. One, two, three. And... Now, finally, because we're not doing any, we're not going to have any holds, and we're really not going to need to worry about our energy and equilibrium, uh, we're going to take the one extra point, or the two in tactician. And that's going to, we'll go ahead and check out our stats here real quick. And just again, this is with, you know, modest gear at best, uh, heroic, mercenary, mostly blue gear. I got. Four things of blue and two purples that I picked up somewhere. <laughs> and you can see what our what that brings us to for stats. Alrighty. And continuing on. Secondary super stats uh, grant 10% more of their normal stated bonus. You can take one in there. Energy builder reduces the recharge time of all your current recharging abilities. Now this is fairly important, so we're gonna take two at least two in there. Uh, intelligence grants defensive penetration and increase the amount of offense and defense you get that's really not a super important with this build but we're going to take uh, one in the tech vulnerability for the penetration and we're going to put the last and final one back into revitalize and it helps out a big a good bit later on for our next tree up they have one specifically for pet builds. Uh, evasive action gives you 25% resistance to all damage. Gives your pets additional resistance. Excuse me. Rapid response decreases the summoning time of your pet powers. Now I take two points in this right off the bat because I like my pets to come up really quickly, and it it works out well. Now for a multitasker, gives you a benefit uh, for the longer you have your pets out. I max this one out as well. Alrighty, now because we're going to be doing DPS, we want to make sure our, our damage is higher. So we're going to increase our pet damage all the way to the top. And I take my last two endurable to make my pets last a little bit longer. Don't really, the pet abilities, I'm not really worried about coming back faster. And uh, the drones and other healing stuff haven't really been a super big deal, and I've never used relief. So that's what I'm going to go with. Now, finally. I use the uh, Sentinel Aura here to, because it also heal your pets. So it's basically continuous healing for your pets right there. Uh, now it gets a little more complicated. It's always nice to have a little bit more critical heals. And I always take at least one on the bottom to in Caregiver to open up the top. Now... Increase your critical chance for your heals is always good. And reduce the energy cost for your heals is always good. We're going to max 
that out, give that a two, and put our last two point or last point back in the caregiver for like so. Now for the top, you have Sentinel, Intelligence, and Commander. This looks cool because of what we're doing overall, but this increases your base pet damage by 10%, so that's what we're going to take. Bam. Alrighty. Stats are done. Uh, travel powers. Again, these are whatever you feel like taking, so I'm just going to take flight and acrobatics, I guess, for this guy, because I always seem to take a variation of those ones anyways. Now, purchase powers. Starting in the Mystic. Come over and take. I take Elder Bolts because it roots your target and lets your pets get to them before they can get to you. So, chance to root, select power, okay. And that opens up a bunch of options down here. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to bother taking any signals. So, there, there won't be any signals in this build. It'll all be actual pets. And this is our first real pet we have. So, I'm going to pick up the. Tyrone is familiar. Or Tyronon or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Never going to say that right, so I'm going to give up. All right, Aura of, or of Ebon Destruction boosts yours and your teammates as well as your pet's damage. And this is a DPS pet build, so we're taking that. All right, and that opens up basically the rest of our stuff. I'm going to take the Eldritch Shield because it's already in this stat. Normally I'd take uh, Energy Shield just because it's probably the best all-around shield in the game if you ask me but whatever okay summons warrior's blade or warlock's blade sorry bam and i uh, you can either take ritual or you can take whatever ritual you want but i highly suggest either evan summoning or uh radiant summoning we're gonna go with uh evan summoning because it has a little bit more damage than uh radiant summoning and I use command animals also. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up the gadgets. I use all the gadgets. Support drones are good for healing and they can be used for DPS. Munition spot are probably one of the best DPS pets in the game and attack toys. Boom. And for our second to last pet, we're going to pick up the shadows, which are the best DPS in summons in the game. So, the best DPS pets are probably the attack bots, and best DPS uh, summons are the summon blade. So, as you can see, we got a crap ton of uh, pets down here. I'm going to go ahead and organize them real quick. Okay, as you can see, you got all the uh, the pets organized on how I'm going to run them. Uh, our next task is we're going to grab a form, which is basically a toggle, and it's going to be the uh, internal internal dampening field is what we're going to use because it gives us gives our pets and us a little bit more resistance. And next, we're going to pick up. Oh yeah, the ultimate pet. Might as well get our ultimate pet now. Mechanical monstrosity. Bang. Our ultimate pet. And finally, we're going to pick up a heal 
but not one that's going to interrupt our targeting ability, such as, you know, any basically any healing is gonna is gonna take off our energy builder. And for the most part, I use my energy builder just to, to direct my pets around. So the best one that doesn't affect our uh, energy builder is Pillar of Paws here. So now we got all of our powers. Let me go ahead and organize those real quick. Boom, boom. So there you go. On the top row we have our, our pets, two summons, two, con two controllables, two gadgets, and a ritual. And on the bottom we have a healing controllable and a the ultimate. For our healing power, we have Pillar of Paws because it leaves a healing patch wherever you use it at. And Internal Dampening Field is our major, uh, is our toggle. So that gives us resistance for everything. So there you go. That's that's the ma major build. Now, finally, we're going to get into ranks and advantages. Now, the first thing we always do is max out our passives. All right. The next thing to do is, as you see, you have a ritual. You can unbind the ritual. So if you leave the, the summoning area, the the uh, pet will stay with you. It won't just go away. So that basically makes, makes the pet permanent, as long as it doesn't die or you don't die. Um, I'm going to bump it up to rank 2 while I'm right here with it. And now we can start working on all the other stuff. Command animals, I always bring that to rank 3. Now, if you find yourself dying a lot with uh, with summon shadows, if you find yourself dying often, I suggest you take the devouring darkness uh, advantage because it lets you heal. But uh, because I'm haven't had an issue with it lately, or at all, but basically with this build, I'm gonna go ahead and max out the uh, summoning shadows because that's your highest DPS summons right there. Uh, attack toys, you want this all the way up to rank three because it gives you four. Replica toys. Basically, you, you summon a major uh, toy, and that toy will summon up to four replica toys. Munitions bot. I would only bring this up to rank two. Rank three just gives you a range boost for the um, for the turret form, and it's not really needed. Metal or support drones. At least rank two, but I highly suggest rank three. At rank two, every time you see the healing beam, it's it turns it into an AOE. At rank three, it get, becomes a it, the, the beam stays in AOE, but it also, whatever your, their major healing target is, becomes a, a healing node for everything else around it. So I go ahead and raise that up to rank 3. Uh, let's see, Eldritch Bolt's nothing. I don't really need to worry about the shield. Definitely don't do Im imbued with power unless you really want to. Uh, it becomes an issue with things later on. And the familiar, I raise that up to rank 2. And that should leave us with eight points left. We're gonna go both into Warlock's Blade. So now you have your major DPS powers taken care of, as well as your major uh, uh, other powers. Go ahead and raise up. This is how as you feel like. You can put them both in there. You can only put one in there, but I I'm gonna take them both for this time, just for the for this exercise. So now we're done. Alrighty. So the second part of this, I'm going to go ahead and head down to the uh, training room there and beat on some dummies for a while to see what we can get DPS out of it. Uh, if you have any questions on the build, go ahead and send me a PM and uh, stay tuned so you can see how it turns out.